Hi, this is Patrick with Advanced Staircase. Today we're going to uh, do a short video that uh, the goal is to try to help you design your iron baluster pattern and give you some insight for ordering the materials and getting the, the pattern you want and the materials you want right the first time. First, plan ahead. Look at a lot of pictures, um, order samples. Get them in, hold them up to your staircase. Order the materials ahead of the time you want to do the install. The worst thing is to have your installer there, you have your materials there and something's not right. When the materials get there, take them out of the box, count them, inspect them, just make sure everything's right before you're ready to do your installation. So plan ahead, look at a lot of pictures. If you like the picture, you're probably going to like the design in your own house. You just have to modify it to fit your particular staircase layout. When you're looking at different pictures of iron baluster images, pick out the details you like in the picture. Do you like the particular element in there? Is it a basket? Is it, is it a knuckle? Is it a scroll? Then also pay attention to the spacing. Are they every other one? Is it one apart, two apart? And I'll do kind of a show you a little example of what I mean by that. So here's an example if you're putting a uh, decorative knuckle every other piece. You get an idea, every other, every one would be, again, there's no right or wrong, just that one's a little bit busier than the next. Then one apart, two apart, even three apart. No right or wrong, look at pictures and see what uh, kind of spacing you prefer. If you're thinking about more decorative pieces like scrolls or iron panels, it is a good idea to order one or two samples and actually hold them up where you think you may like them. Seeing up there makes a, a big difference and you can also figure out what kind of spacing you prefer. Here's an example of just one decorative piece that you may want to put just in the middle of the panel. Here's an example of two scrolls together, what we refer to as kissing scrolls. There's normally a plain bar or twist in between because you can't put a scroll right next to a scroll. Another option would be to spread it out. You can also spread it out even more. Several options, again, no right or wrong, just uh, go with what, you're, what you like. After you get your balconies worked out, you can also go back to your stairs, see if you like them on your stairs, if you like just one. If you like two pieces, again, if you hold them up there, you'll get a really good idea of what it looks like in your own home. When you count your spindles, it's a great idea to just walk by. Instead of trying to look at them and count, just walk, walk by with your finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 25 in this section. By section, I mean between each large newel post. This, this is a newel post. There's 25 in this section which wrap around the lute. Jot that down on your paper. Next is a small balcony. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Write that down on your sheet. Get each section. Usually when you design your pattern, you're going to be have a general design and then work out that pattern for each individual count on your staircase. A few things you want to check. First is the the width of the old spindle that's coming out because you're going to want to sh make sure you have a, a shoe that covers up the mark. When you pull this old spindle out, there's going to be a mark here. Most of the time there'll be a mark here because they weren't finished before the, sp the original spindles went in. This particular spindle is right about an inch and a quarter. We have uh, a shoe that's inch and five sixteenths. It will just cover it up. We also have another shoe that's inch and nine sixteenths if you want to make sure if there's some spilled paint and you want to make sure so measure your spindle make sure you get the proper shoe to cover up the old mark if everything's being refinished it's not that important just go with the standard shoe you, normally even with the new construction we will put a shoe on the bottom it, it finishes it out nice normally we don't do a top shoe unless there's a big oversized hole that you're trying to cover up 
Top shoes uh, will give you a lot of other challenges to deal with. The angle for uh, an angled shoe up top may be off a little bit. Um, the, if you have twists going on, the, the, all the twisting between the top and the bottom may be a little bit off. So my recommendation is unless you need a top shoe, just stick with the bottom. It's a good idea to measure your rail heights in both the stair and in the balconies. On older homes, a lot of times this rail is very low and we may need to go with what we call our knee wall series. A knee wall is when you, have the, you don't have the open step here, it's an angle board and it sits a little bit above the stair tread. The, those tend to be shorter balusters and you may want to go with our knee wall series. The other option is sometimes you may have to cut both the top and the bottom of the spindle and installation. Again, we'll go over that in the installation video. Okay, download our design sheet from our website. If it's not on our website when you go, you can also send us an email at sales at advancedstaircase.com. Again, sales at advancedstaircase.com. And we will email you back a PDF that you could print out. It's a great help for doing your design. After you get your counts, um, just write them down. So your first section is a stair section and it was 24 pieces. You had a stair section that was seven pieces. Another stair section that was 15. Balcony that was nine. Balcony was 14, and another balcony that was 14. Okay, I like to draw lines for each individual baluster. That way, you can um, draw out your pattern. So, we'll uh, do this and skip ahead. So, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we have lines drawn for every baluster in each section of our pattern then um, it's a good idea at this point to make a copy of the sheet at this stage because if you draw out a pattern you don't like it you don't have to do all this again you can just print out a copy of it start over draw put a, a new design change the spacing so we total up all our balusters we have a total of 83 now once you get each individual piece you also want to total it up make sure you have 83 total so first we're going to start with our main design piece, which in this particular situation is a scroll. So hold them up. We knew we wanted a scroll here, a corresponding place on the stair across from it. So this is the left side. This was the right side. Our next scroll went at number 16. Our next one at number 22. We had one in the middle on our section of seven, one in the middle on our section of nine. Our section of 14, we have to offset it. Unfortunately, odd numbers work better, but if it's already um, at an even number, you just have to offset the pattern. Okay. Next, we're going to add in our secondary pieces, which on this pattern, we're going to do a single basket. So we're just going to, it's kind of rough, but it, it gets your point across. It's, so you can uh, see your design without spending a lot of time on a computer. It's a lot faster. Again, our left side of the pattern matches our right side of the pattern for the stairs going up it just looks better if they're if they work together okay you have your design the uh, in this case the the ones we haven't made a mark on that's just going to be a single twist we're not going to sit here and draw little squiggly lines for every little twist on here. We just know that that one's a twist. 
Now get your counts. You're gonna first is your scrolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight scrolls. So we're gonna put scrolls. In this case it's gonna be a large. There's different size scrolls. And we have eight of them. Next is our single baskets. One basket. Okay, and we're gonna have 33 of those. And the last is our single twist, count them up. And we're gonna write one twist. And that happens to be 42 pieces. Our shoes in this situation, they're all gonna be a flat shoe. We're not using a top shoe. But if, uh, so it would just be, in this case, shoe, we're gonna do a flat, and it's gonna be 83. And of course, you, you total up your scrolls, baskets, and twists should total up to 83 pieces. And if it's a situation where some of these were on an angled knee wall going up, you would count, let's say, your two stair sections. Let's say your stair sections were angled boards, the knee wall. You'd have 24, 7, and 15 in stairs. So that number would be angled shoes. And you just get that count, put in your angled shoe, and of course, I order it. If you want to order extra pieces, you know, of course, that's up to you. Um, you may have some pieces if you ordered samples. Let's say you ordered two scrolls, you only would need six scrolls now. If you ordered, you know, same with baskets or twists. You may want to order, when you order your samples, order a few different, uh, if, if it's between two different finishes, for example, satin black and oil rub bronze, order one piece of each and actually see the piece to see which one you like best. It's a great idea to use, save this sheet when you're going to do your installation and um, you can take it and if you do each individual me measurement just write them down next to your 24 stair number one, number two, number three, number four. Just write each measurement as you go. A lot of times the balconies may be, you may be able to get away with uh, them all being the same. Um, but again, you won't know that until you measure it. So get your measurements. Um, in this situation, our balconies were uh, the same. It, all this whole balcony is gonna be 37 and a half inches. Our other balcony is just a little bit shorter at 37 and a quarter inches. Then we got our stair measurement. Me you have to measure every one because a good chance every one will be different. The beginning was the same going around our loot, so they were all 40 and a half inches. But then number six was 37, number seven is 39 and a half, number eight was 36 and three quarter, and just continue down for every piece in every section when you get your measurements. You can then take this, take the sheet where you're going to be cutting your iron, take it with you, and and have all your measurements handy to do your do your cutting. Okay, now you have all your counts. Go to our website advancedstaircase.com again advancedstaircase.com we have a shopping cart site it's very user friendly and just go scroll series click on your uh, the large scroll into your quantity into your finish that you want and, and same for every section now you know some of these are in the scroll series some are in the basket twist basket and the shoes are in their own category make sure you order the appropriate shoe half inch shoe for a half inch iron and just make sure you order the right outside diameter for the one you, one you want to use for your project. We will have uh, installation video available that you can uh, take a look at and help guide you on installation. Every job is different, so codes are different. Check your local codes. We can't be responsible for every code around the United States, so they're very different in every area, so definitely check the codes and what you have to follow in your area. If uh, you can email, email us at sales at advanced staircase and um, if you need any more information or help. Okay, thank you.